linen suit adventure. Um, I already did a video showing most of con the construction of my skirt, which as soon as I get a hold of some tarlatan or cotton crinoline, I'm going to go back in and put a facing at the hem because uh, this is not cutting it. It should be better. I know better. I can be better. This is good enough for what I had available, what I have available at the time. But now we're talking about my vest, which also has some mistakes. You can see, based on all these crinkles in the back, all these crinkles, that I didn't cut my hip spring wide enough. That's partly because I'm used to having a very uh, straight and boxy figure. So didn't think about the corset while I was patterning this. And also because I just, I don't know, I just made a mistake. And then there's one more silly mistake. Um, but I'll talk about that later. I'm using the Keystone Guide to draft my pattern, which is mostly amazing, but every once in a while it can be a little confusing. Sometimes when it's, it says use half the measurement, it means half of the full measurement, so like your whole bust or your entire waist, but other times when it says half of the measurement, it really means half of the half measurement that you're using to draft half the pattern, so really only a quarter of the measurement. But when you actually look at it on paper, it makes sense. It's easy to tell whether it really means 12 or 6 by, look by looking at it. Sturdier, and I'm not using an inner lining all the way, and so it's going to be the facing and lining together. So it'll be triple thickness right at the front there. Um, here's the remains of the mock-up. Didn't need to do too much, but I had lengthened the in the drafting. I lengthened the pattern by about an inch because that's what I needed to do in previous patterns, but that was not the case for this one, um, so I put it back to the length it was and then changed the darts a little bit. Okay, speaking of the darts, that's what it's time to do now. Oh, and little bust pieces, or shoulder pieces. layers of cotton wadding up here to kind of fill in the little divot that everybody has between their shoulder and their bust. And that's um, the great thing about Victorian and Edwardian clothing. It's not about the shape of your body, it's about the shape of your clothes and you just put padding where you need it.
I'm pad stitching the shoulder bust padding in place, trying to be as neat as possible because the stitches will show through the lining. just sewing the front to the back and I'll go and press these seams and the darts in a moment. Okay, here's where I messed up. I am trying to pad stitch the collar into shape, but I did it in the wrong on the wrong side. I did it on the velvet side, which will be what you see, instead of on the gray canvas side, which will be um, kind of hidden under the flap. And this didn't really cause any like it still helped the collar into shape, but because the fashion fabric and the lining um, weren't, weren't stitched into that shape. There's a little bit of wrinkle under the fold in the main fashion fabric, but also it was just really awkward to try to hold and stitch, which is why I end up, uh, well, I end up with a little trick that worked, but it wasn't the right way. I needed to, instead of stitching the lining to the facing, I needed to stitch the lining to the fabric.
I sewed wrong sides together of the front right and front left, flipped that right side out, pressed them flat on the linen side, and then stop, top stitched around the collar and front. I'm using a felling stitch to finish the bottom edge and the arm sides. I'm attaching some zip tie boning to each of the front darts using a fell stitch and being very careful to only stitch through the lining and not with the collar and the fit not being quite right, I'm pretty happy with it and I definitely learned a lot which really helped out when I was working on the frock coat. <laughs>